then no. <laughs> oh, but so only if you have gender dysphoria, you can identify as a woman? It's a medical condition. It's a medical yes. condition. So anyone at any time can become a woman? Uh, what is cheating? What is cheating? Mm -hmm. I can. Hey guys, you're welcome to Be Your Speaks. We check out this video titled One Simple Question Shuts Down a Confused Feminist. Hello, uh, what would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being able to access historically women's spaces like uh, female bathrooms and uh, being able to participate in women's sports? Okay, what would I say? Um, let me ask, are, are you one of those feminists? I am. Oh, okay, lucky guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, what is a woman? Okay. Uh, somebody who identifies uh. as a woman. So can I become a woman? Do you have gender dysphoria? Thankfully, no. <laughs> then, then no. Oh, but so only if you have gender dysphoria, you can identify as a woman? It's a medical condition. It's a medical yes. condition. So anyone at any time can become a woman? Uh, no. no because well, anyone could have gender <laughs> dysphoria. It's, it's, you claim it upon yourself. I, I, you know what, I, I am, I'm actually thinking I might, I might actually have mm -hmm. gender dysphoria. So can I become a well, woman? Well, I wish you the best in your transition, and I hope that society accepts you. So let me ask you a question. Um, what is cheating? What is mm -hmm. cheating? Mm -hmm. Is doing what your partner... I can pull up a dictionary definition. No, like give an like, example. Maybe taking something partner. from somebody or a strong what person, you know, maybe using their power mm -hmm. against the weak. Sure. Somebody okay. using their power against the weak. Got it. Okay. Is Leah Thomas or William Thomas biologically stronger than the competitors that he, she was against? I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know about sp that specific situation. Probably okay. because she is number one. Won the national title. Yes. Okay. Won, well, won after, the national title. after the transition, right? Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So the other women against the man were born with less bone density, lower testosterone levels. What are they supposed to do to make it even? I would not know on that specific situation. No. Right. So there's nothing they can do because men have more testosterone, muscle mass, and bone density. So wouldn't that be cheating? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I'm being pulled into a trap, and I'm going to step away. Well, no, it's not a trap. No, it's not. I mean, just one sec. I, I, it's a very simple moral question, right? So if someone is stronger and was born that way, is able to compete against people that are not as strong because they're born that way, wouldn't that be the textbook definition of cheating? I don't know about that one. I'm going to step away. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question, though? Yes. Okay. So, so you're a feminist, and you, you say anyone who has gender dysphoria can transition to become a woman at any time. That, that's, mm -hmm. that's your position? Sure. Okay. Do you think chromosomes have anything to do with determining what a female is? Yes. Okay. So then where does the gender dysphoria come into place? I think that sex and gender are different things. Right. But then what is a woman? Somebody who identifies as a woman. So anyone can be a woman at any <laughs> single time. You've asked me this question, it's still no. Got it. And you're a feminist? I am. So who are you trying it's to protect? still true. What was that? Who are, what women are you trying to protect? Women. Wow. All women. I love that. That you Regar can't, regardless that you can't of, define. Regardless of uh, whether or not they've transitioned. Whether or not they've transitioned. Yes. Well, um, I wish you well in the coming situation where now as a feminist you're going to have to live under the tyranny of men who think they're women. Ah. Thank you for being here tonight. Ooh. Well, <laughs> if you really pay attention to Kalike question, it's kind of tricky but it's straightforward. It asks what's the definition of a woman? And a woman is somebody that, you know, has a different, you know, building compared to a man. A woman, you know, she has the, the chest area, the pubic area is different from men. And women are those people that, you know, a woman is a person. Like, it, it, yes, it's kind of hard to explain 
who a woman is. <laughs> you get it. But when you said that, if you say, okay, woman, a woman, because you, you have a genetic no, because of this reason, that means cheating. Cheating is based on your gender. No, cheating doesn't have to be, be based on your gender. Anybody can cheat, be male or female. And cheating is you trying to do something that will not that the other person is not going to be happy about or cheating a form of you doing something you yourself know is wrong but you are arming the other the next person the next person close to you that's a form of cheating that's how i can define cheating so she's a feminist she's a feminist but she can't really say much about you know the feminist part she was kind of confused and lost and maybe if Charlie K would have come down to her level she would have explained much more deeper because you throw in the question who is a woman even, everybody from the crowd will even be shocked with it's true who is a woman you'll be questioning yourself why I was watching I was questioning myself like, what's the best definition to give as a woman why am I a woman what's the definition of a woman the only thing that can differentiate is, is your you know your body building that's the only thing yeah nowadays people are you know doing transgender some men will turn themselves to woman some women will turn themselves to man but generally there's woman there's man so and we are all different we are all different even though people say there should be equality even with your equality we are all different and one thing the man asked was that who are you fighting for as a feminist to say woman is it general or people because of this condition? There should be a reason why you are fighting for women's rights. Are you fighting for women's rights when it comes to, you know, recognition or them being given the freedom to speak in diverse way when it comes to politics, spirituality, you know, all aspects of life? Or you're fighting based on the fact that the ones that they are being molested or the ones that they are timid or the ones that you think oh you can take advantage of you can't just say yeah fighting for everybody you can't fight for every woman everybody is not is not a victim there are some people that they can fight for themselves they are doing very fine why well, there are some set of people that you need to step in to help them because of how the society sees them or because of they are not being bold enough based on their past experiences or one thing or the other that was a beautiful one that was a beautiful one because truly truly this lady was kind of confused but i really enjoyed watching that was a beautiful one thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye